Oh, how lovely. Dirt-flavored water. No thanks. Oh yeah, definitely stealing these. A visitor's guide. Oh. Um. Hmm.
Mm-hmm. Notify the blah blah blah. Be aware. Da, da, da. Be sure. Da, da. Got it. Hey, it's burger time. How's that homework coming along? Fine. How was the restaurant? Ugh, overpriced. But I guess that's the price you pay for convenience. Here's your burger. Thanks. Enjoy. I'm gonna call August. Tell her I said hi. August? Guess where I am? At a motel in Poetan. <laughs> Tess and I took a little road trip. She says hi. We paid a visit to the old summer house. You remember the summer house? Mobile home. Yes, it's still there. Anyway, we came away with some questions about mom and dad. I just, do you think, could dad have, oh, yeah, she's here, hold on. She wants to talk to you. I'm going out for a smoke, back in a few. Hello, Teresa. Hi, Aunt August. 
This is all... It's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah, that's one word for it. How do you feel about it? I think it's pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's a bigger deal for you and Mom. I just think... I don't know, it's just kind of... It's like seeing a whole new side of Grandma. Now that she's gone. Yeah. I was still pretty young when our dad died, so... I think it's a lot harder on your mom than on me. I never... really knew him. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's alright. I've spent enough on therapy to almost be over it. Did you guys find anything out there? I haven't been since we were kids. We found your old friend, Nightshade. Oh, Nightshade. I'd forgotten about him. Kind of a spooky name. <laughs> yeah. I was a spooky kid. You know, our dad dying really did shake me up. Nightshade was to try and fill that void, I guess. That must have been hard. Yeah. What about the house? What was it like? It, uh... It was pretty beat up. Yeah. I'm surprised it was still standing. I guess part of me hoped we could just move out there. <laughs> move out there? Oh my gosh. You're breaking my heart. You'd rather live in the middle of nowhere than in Chicago? What? With me, in the townhouse. Didn't your mom say? No. What about mom? Can can she stay with you? Of course. Both of you. But she doesn't want to. What do you mean? She... <sighs> Look, you should talk to her about it. It isn't my place. But why didn't... Oh, hold on. Work is calling. Uh, I gotta go. Love you, Teresa. L love you too, Anne August. And Jocelyn is looking at him, and it's so obvious that she forgot her line. And of course she did, because she only got off book a few days before. And he's just staring at her. Uh-huh. And Todd needs her to say it, otherwise the whole scene makes no sense, and it's dead quiet. It's opening night! And so then, she just says, Who are you? The Pirate of Penzance? Tess. What? Are you even listening to what I'm saying? Yeah... Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm listening. If you want to just drive quietly for a while, that's fine. I can do that. Wait, 
Where's my cell phone? Did I leave it in my backpack? Oh no. What? My cell phone. I left my cell phone at the hotel. Are you sure? Yes, I looked everywhere. It's not in the glove box. It's not in my backpack. I, I don't have the charger either. I, I must have left it on the charger at the hotel. We have to go back and get it. Tess, we have been driving for over an hour already. We are not driving all the way back to the motel just so you can have your phone for one day. You don't understand! I just need it. That's not much of a reason. Mom, we have to turn around. We haven't been driving for an hour. We Yes, can... we have. We left one hour and... 18 minutes ago. Well, we can drive faster on the way back. I am not breaking the speed limit and getting pulled over and getting a ticket because you can't wait till tonight to get you your... No, I, I wouldn't have left my phone there if it wasn't for you. You, you were lying to me. And I was so distracted. And now, and now you won't even go back and... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I was lying to you? When was I lying to you? You didn't tell me we could stay with August. <sighs> Why would you just lie to me and say August was unwilling to help us? I didn't... I didn't lie. I... She doesn't want to help. Helping would be buying the house, and when I asked, she said no. But she offered to let us stay with her. And I said no. There's a million reasons why that's a bad idea. <laughs> At least we'd be sleeping in a bed and not a car. We aren't gonna sleep in the car. I'll figure something out. Aren't you concerned? We have no plan. You have no plan. I have a plan. I... Money might be tight, but it's not like I don't have a job. Why don't you like August? Excuse me? Where did you get that idea? You always act like she's a pain when she's just trying to help. It's like you're jealous of her. First of all, I am not jealous of her. It's a lot easier to make money when you live by yourself. Especially if you're so far away, your own family is an afterthought. I had to do all the work for Grandma. August just stayed in Chicago. You're making her sound so selfish. She's not like that. You've never lived with her, Tess. It's not gonna be like your little vacation. August thinks she knows what's best for everyone. I can't be around someone like that every day. Wow, I can't imagine what that feels like. Do you think you're the only person with problems and the rest of us are just running around doing whatever? You're exhausting. No wonder Dad left. Don't bring your dad into this. Why not? Why can't we talk about Dad, actually talk about Dad for once? The divorce? I don't want to have this discussion right now. Fine. You don't want to have this discussion? I'll just find out when I go to Nevada. What? When I see Dad when I go next month. You're not going to Nevada next month. Yes, I am. I already have the tickets. What do you mean? With what money? From my business. I'm going From your business. <sighs> I can't believe you. That you would go behind my back? If you just told me what was happening, I wouldn't have to. I wouldn't have to ask Dad to tell me the truth. The truth? Please. Oh, so that's what this is all about, huh? You want to know what's the truth? Fine. Here's the truth. The divorce wasn't mutual. I divorced him. You... Your father announced he was going to Reno to become a full-time gambler and expected me to say, Oh, sure, honey. Feel free to abandon me and my daughter and dying mother to try out your next get-rich-quick scheme. What? What kind of person would think a marriage could work with that kind of distance? So then I have to be the bad guy, just like always. He gets to run away and be the fun parent, and I have to be the mean mom and do all the work. So I divorced him. I'm sure he's just as proud of his new job as I am, and that's why you're hearing about it now. So sure, go to Nevada, ask him all about it. I'm sure he'll tell you the truth.
It's a dead end. It's not a dead end. We just have to get out and walk. Where, Tess? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I think it's through here. Thanks for the help, by the way. <sighs> Look, I know you're upset. We both are. Let's just get in, see what we can find about Pierre, and get out. Before I change my mind. Agreed. Trek? That's the name of the mystery man. Think he's got mail? Hmm. Guess we'll never know. It's locked anyway. Maybe that's for the best. Tampering with other people's mail is illegal. How are we supposed to get on board? Maybe there's something around here we can use. Pierre! Pierre was here. Looks like we're on the right track. Is that dried blood? Ew, 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 why on earth did I just touch that? Yikes. Somebody has anger issues. Couldn't just set down the knife gently, could ya?
This is so stupid. We're trespassing. We need to go back home. But we... What if you fall off and break your neck, Tess? Or who knows what's even in that boat? Or if the floorboards are all rotted, or... or... But we're already here. And the trailer home... Mobile home. The mobile home was fine. I, I just think... If we go back now, what's the point? Don't you want to know what happened to Grandma? To find Pierre? Mm. Okay, fine. You stay here, and I'll see what I can find. No, you can't go in without me. Don't tell me what I can't do, Tess. No matter how grown up you think you might be, I'm still your mother. I... You're right. I'm sorry. I just... We've done all of this so far together. I just don't want to give that up. <sighs> all right. We'll do it together. But I should go first. No, I should go. No way! What if you fall off? I could say the same to you. I should go first. I'm not gonna let my poor, aged mother walk across a rickety bridge before I'm sure it's safe. Let's flip a coin. Call it. Heads or tails. Heads. I lost? In a manner of speaking. After you. All right. Here I go. Careful. Not very climactic. Not quite as scary as I thought. Yeah, this thing is pretty sturdy. Especially for just sitting out here for a few decades. Let's hope we can say the same for the rest of the boat. Quite the party boat Pierre had going on here. No kidding. I kind of want to clean up the rest of these. Ugh, why? Well, they're all in the bucket except these two. They've been separated from their friends for so many years. Now they will be reunited at last. It's locked. This must be where the money is. <laughs> I seriously doubt that, but regardless, we'll have to... Can I just kick it in? I'd say you're free to try, but I don't want you hurting yourself. How sturdy can it be? <gasps> Ow. All right, pretty sturdy. A letter from Grandma! Can you imagine if my mother had actually moved us up here to stay? I'd be Canadian. You wouldn't even exist. Whoa. What? Well, who knows if I would have had a daughter if my whole life had changed back then. I certainly wouldn't have met your father. Wow. So, this is like looking into an alternate reality. I'd like to live in another reality. Like what? One where you and Dad were still together? I mean, I just wish you two were able to work things out. Well, 
It's not possible. There's no way to that reality from here. Wow, this is from when Grandma was really young. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this one. You look a lot like her. <laughs> really? I always thought I looked more like my father. Um, maybe you were just imagining things? More... Oh, you mean because he might not have been my father? Hmm. Huh. I suppose I can see the resemblance now that I think about it. You have her smile. Wow, cool. Tess, don't touch that! Why not? It's just as grimy as anything else in this boat. Plus, I want to find out what the winter campus fashions were in 1968. Ugh, you don't know where that's been. It's literally been right here for 30 years. I mean before that. Like... <sighs> Never mind. And I think it was fringe jackets. The winter campus fashions in 1968? And patterned tights. But really, put that down. Boy, really getting into the sea captain persona, aren't we? Did the boat ever even leave this dock? Cool. Nobody to spy on, though. dollars for a houseboat are you saying that's a lot or a little a little only three thousand dollars for a boat you can live on it's a house and a boat that's that's two whole things for just three thousand dollars some people don't even have one thing it does seem like he probably got a pretty good deal do you think the boat had something wrong with it maybe pierre just drove a hard bargain Damn, 40 grand. We've definitely found our man. This must have been from when he drove up here. Imagine spending $6 on a steak lunch. Or $7 for a tank of gas. Did people just drink more back then? <sighs> yeah, I think so. But this is a lot, even for 1968. Dodge this!
No, it's for four players. Sorry, Pierre. You tell him, Grandma. Yeah, not one to mince words. All those years of writing advice columns paid off, I guess. Kinda nice that she was thinking about you guys, too. Not just uprooting your life, dumping you in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I can't imagine what it would have been like to grow up here. <laughs> You'd have to learn French. <gasps> Sacre bleu. <sighs> oh no, it's already happening. The burglary ring! Mom, Grandma's boyfriend here was a bank robber. <sighs> Why else would he have this? Maybe my mother... sent it to him. For what? To keep him abreast of current events. Oh, come on, Mom. Grandma had a thing going with a bank robber. How cool is that? Well, okay, they didn't rob any banks. It was the jewelry counters at department stores and things like that. Department store robber doesn't quite have the same ring to it. And it wasn't robbery, it was burglary. What's the difference? A robbery is when you take something from someone under duress. A burglary, you take it when they're unaware, I think. You think? Listen, it's been a while since I've brushed up on my criminology. And why are they so sure it was meant? What? It says, the men broke into the store, but 
there were no witnesses. So how do they know it was men? You're thinking lady robbers. Like Catwoman. <laughs> I like it. Very cinematic. Do you think Grandma could have helped? Are you seriously asking if I think my mother was an accomplice in all this? Why not? She had two kids at home, and I just don't see it. Seems like there was a lot about Grandma you weren't seeing. Excuse me? Sorry, Mom. I'm sorry. No, I mean, you know, maybe that's what she wanted me to think. I didn't know about Pierre, after all. Attention every- Oh, man, what? This doesn't work. Should have seen that coming. Wow, that is a lot to spend on whiskey. $45? A lot for back then, I mean. Whiskey was more expensive then, too. Plus, judging from the state of this place, this was probably a reoccurring order. Jeez, slow it down, Pierre. I don't think he was handling my mother's change of heart too well. With this amount of booze, it doesn't look like he was handling anything too well. Listen, let's just get back to it. It's cold in this busted old boat.
<sighs> so I guess that's it? Grandma and Pierre went to all this trouble and then Grandma just changed her mind? I think maybe she wasn't so convinced in the first place. Well then, why string Pierre along like this for so long? He bought a boat and fixed up the kids' room and everything? Maybe she just wasn't sure at first. Or didn't want to hurt him. Oh yeah, I bet he felt great about reading this. Looks like a mailbox key. Oh, I was hoping that would turn up. I swear, you could be so nosy sometimes. Looks like Pierre tried to mail this, but he messed up the postage or something. Let's crack this bad boy open. Wait, opening other people's mail? I don't know, Tess. If this guy was your real father, you're his next of kin, so it's fine. Is that how that works? I don't know, probably. Makes sense to me. I suppose you have a point. Let's see what we've got here. So Pierre was my dad? He wrote this whole confession, but it never made it. It's been here ever since. I can't believe it. Well, it says right there. I... No, I mean rhetorically, Tess. Jeez. Right, right. Uh, I'm... <laughs> so my mother wasn't having an affair at all. Or whatever this would have been. Not except with Grandpa's secret identity. <laughs> so my father ha hadn't died when we thought he'd had a heart attack. He was just here, on this dock. We never got to know him. He, he was just a car ride away. August and I suffered over something that never even happened. Yeah, I'm really sorry, Mom. For your whole life, you'd thought your dad had just died, and you had to live with that. That really sucks. <sighs> I can't believe I... I can't believe he just abandoned us. All this time, he was... here. I, he gave up his family, his children. For an old boat and some booze. I wish I could have talked to him. Just one more time, and my mother, living... A lie. For the rest of her life, I can't... 
I can't even imagine. <sighs> I just wish I could have talked to her about it. While she was alive, I just... Wish you could have been there for her? Yeah. If we could have just... She didn't have to carry all this alone. I can't believe she would do that to us, lie to us her whole life. Why didn't she say anything, even when we were all grown up? Maybe... maybe she was trying to protect you. Yeah, maybe. August was so little. But I was old enough to know the truth. I just wish we would have talked. So, that's it? He spent all his money, tried to send this confession, and disappeared, and he never came back? Do you think he could still be alive? <sighs> I don't know. Honestly, I... I honestly don't care. It doesn't really matter, does it? Either way, he's gone. You don't want to keep going? Maybe we could find... No, I think we've found enough. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. He pretended to die. <laughs> but he really just left me, like everyone else. I didn't leave you. Well, maybe not yet. But your dad... <laughs> I thought you said you were the one who kicked Dad out. I mean... Well, it wasn't quite like that. I guess... Listen. I'll give you the full story in the car. I'm freezing out here. Yeah, me too. <sighs> Tess, thanks for doing this. For coming with me. Of course. And for pushing me to find out what happened. Just doing my job. I know I haven't been the best mom lately. But... But I am so lucky to have such an incredible, kind... Oh, Mom. <laughs> Beautiful, hardworking. Stop, stop. You'll make me cry. <laughs> Just such an amazing daughter. I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. <laughs> <laughs>